It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're gonna go over exploring standard assets. Unity previously in 2018 and before provided you with a bunch of standard assets that you can use inside of your projects. We're going to explore those today. This is the standard assets that Unity has prepackaged for you. It is free to download. And you can see these are the things that you can kind of play with. There's planes, there's cars, there's people, there's a bunch of stuff. And you, you can look through this. You see there's a little game that they have. Here's a person moving around blocks. Here's the Air Force. Here's that plane. You can see they have all these. There's a car. All these are giving to you. So first up, you need to make sure that you're using Unity 2018. So in Unity Hub, you're going to click on New. Make sure you select 2018. You're going to call this Exploring Standard Assets and press Create. I've already done this. You can see that in the background, so I'm just going to close this. But go ahead and create Exploring Standard Assets. That is what I have right here. Back over here, if I'm signed into Unity, I can click on Open in Unity, which will link it, or I can just come to the Asset Store and do a search for Standard Assets. When I do, I can scroll down, and you will find this Unity Technologies Standard Assets for Unity 2018.4. It is free. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Scroll down, click on Download. Now I'm going to click on import and I'm going to import all of these assets. When I do down here in my project window, I'm going to see a bunch of other things added to my project. Now you can see it's imported some sample scenes and some standard assets. Let's look at this. It has 2D cameras, characters, cross-platformer, all of these things, vehicles, if you go into vehicles, you can see there is aircrafts. If I look at prefabs, I have some of those. All these things are given to you to kind of use, and you're going to explore them. So let's go to sample scenes, scenes, and you can see here are the actual scenes that you're going to explore. Let's go back to our class. This is a document. It's a scavenger hunt activity where you're going to go through these different sample scenes and learn about it. So let's open this up. Obviously you're going to put your name there, the date there. Download this document and you're going to put your answers. So let's look at this. It says 2D scroller. How might the types of assets we use change in a 2D game like this? So in a 2D scroller I have two questions. What objects in the scene do you think have colliders? What about the rigid bodies? So first you need to look for 2D scroller inside of sample scenes, scenes. So you can see right here, there is a 2D character. I'm going to double click on that. And when I do, this is the 2D character. Just showing you that. Go ahead and press play. Let me just show you this. So here's your game. You can see I can knock over stuff. And I can jump. Let's see what's at the bottom. What's at the bottom? Oh, I died. So this is a 2D character game that you're going to use to answer these games. The aircraft jet, we're going to come back here, aircraft jet, I can press play. And you can see you, you can try to fly this with these holes and there you go so what you're doing in this activity you're going through assets sample scenes scenes these and you will be answering these questions you have the aircraft jet car racetrack third person controller so I showed you the aircraft jet here's the car racetrack just click on car press on play let me show you. 
I'm using my arrow keys. So that is what you're going to use for the car racetrack to answer those questions. Third person controller. I'm going to come back here. You see it says character third person. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to press on play. Again, I'm going to use my arrow keys. And you can see I can jump. I can move stuff around. And that's what you're going to use for the third person controller. Character click navigation. Come back here. I'm going to click on, double click on character, third person AI. I'll press play. You can see when I click here, anywhere I click, you set a target and it will run to that target. That is what you're going to use for character click navigation. Particle systems. You can see particles are here. I'm going to press play. So I can click on these and see everything explodes. You're going to use that to answer the questions for particle systems and then rollerball. Rollerball is right here. I'll double click on that. I'll press play. And you can see here is my rollerball. And obviously you're going to play it to explore this standard assets pack. Again, in this assignment, you're going to answer these questions by playing the different Unity Standard Assets objects. Go ahead and start exploring.